Hey, what up you guys? This is Danny B. And you're watching The Trash Dash. Uh, and in this video, I'm just going to be doing my first impressions of um, watching The Irishman. Uh, you know, I, that's one I think I have to see like three or four times to do like an accurate review on. Because it's not the kind of movie you can just watch once and be like, alright, I know every single detail about the movie. So I'm just going to give like my first uh, impressions after watching it. Uh, I thought this movie was great. Uh, this holds up right up with like Casino and Goodfellas and all those like classic um, true life mob movie uh, films that he's done. You know, everyone killed it on the acting. De Niro, Pesci, uh, uh, what's his name? Al Pacino. You know, I'm a big Harvey Keitel fan, so I wish his character was in it a little bit more. But, you know, he's probably... He's still, like, constantly working, so he's probably was super busy. But, yeah, um, super good movie. It's three and a half hours long, so I woke up uh, Thanksgiving night around, like, 2.30 a.m. Just my cat was knocking on the door, and I woke up, and I couldn't go back to bed. And I was just like, I don't got to work today, so I might as well watch The Irishman because it's three and a half hours. It'll be done by 5 in the morning. Uh, yeah. And uh, it was worth it. It was it was a great movie. Basically, what it is is there was this guy uh, Frank. Uh, I forget his last name, but it's it's the guy that was like best friends or uh, coworkers or whatever you want to call it with Jimmy Hoffa, and it's it's his life story, and um, he discusses a lot of like historical events in the movie, like JFK's assassination and. Um, Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance, and I would love to go more into it, but there's major spoilers if I do, so I won't. But yeah, this uh, this movie holds up. Um, I didn't like this as much as Goodfellas or Casino, but those are super hard ones to top. Those are like some of the best films of all time. This, I would say, is like the third best of those. Um, yeah, it was great. You know, Scorsese's like in his 70s or eight, maybe 80s. I don't even know. But he's an old man and he's just knocking it out of the park with this three and a half hour movie that's probably better than anything in the theaters right now. Uh, it, it was really good. Um, great cast. Uh, it's It's got like, there's like two, two different Scorsese styles. One is like the low budget, like taxi driver, grimy feel, like Mean Streets and ta uh, After Hours Taxi Driver. The second is like this super high budget uh, style where it's like casino, where everything is like a huge big shot. Goodfellas is a huge big shot movie. You know, there's those two different styles that he does and both are amazing. This is a bigger, bigger budget style movie. I don't know if this would make the top five Scorsese movies, but he's, you know, he's done so many classics. Uh, it's hard to get into that top five for any movie, even one of his. There are a couple cons I have with it. Um, the CGI, uh, it looked good, but, you know, I could tell that it was CGI on the um, actors in a couple parts to make them look younger. Which is understandable. Uh, De Niro was in his late 70s playing a 25 year old. So it's like, you know, or a 33 or however old he's supposed to be. But yeah, you, you can't look make that look natural through makeup. So you got to do some CGI on it. But you know, as their characters get older in the movie, the CGI gets less and less. And, and to the point where it's t completely gone. So it doesn't look bad. The, the length of the movie is kind of a, it's a pro and a con. Like... Yeah, you want to get the most out of the movie, so, but then it, it hurts it for uh, rewatchability a little bit. But, you know, overall, uh, it's it's the story you wanted to tell, so there you go. You know, Casino is a three hour movie, and, and I can rewatch it all the time. Only time will tell if it really holds up like those ones do. Um, yeah, great movie. Uh, on first watch, I give it four out of five stars. And that is The Irishman. And the soundtrack is great too. It's got In in the Still of the Night is one of my favorite oldies. A uh, bunch of other good songs in there. Very cool. This is Danny B. You're watching The Trash Stash. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.